The Postal Service has proposed changes to the flexion standards, which is commonly called a droop test, and the droop test measures the flexibility of catalogs. The proposed changes to the regulation go into effect January 4, 2010. Questions have come up recently on how to measure your catalog to determine if it passes the droop test. If it fails the droop test, uh, it's subject to a higher postage rate. The non-flat machinable rate, which is extremely expensive, so it's imperative that you measure the catalog uh, before it gets to the production stage. If it's 10 inches or more, if the length is 10 inches or more, which is the length is the longest side, the longest length, you extend the catalog five inches off of a flat surface, and as you can see, it fails. You flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, but obviously this one failed. If any one side fails, then uh, it's a failure. Next, uh, we'll take a catalog that is over two in, uh, over 10 inches and extend it over a flat surface, five inches, and as you can see, this one passes. Passes on this side, and we flip it over on the other side, it'll pass also. If the catalog length is less than 10 inches, you extend the catalog half its length off the edge of the surface. And as you can see, this one passes. Flip it over on the other side, and same thing. So this particular catalog passes the group test and is entitled to the automation rates and carrier route rates and etc. Next we'll take an oblong. The once again the longest link is perpendicular to the edge and extended over five inches and um, as you can see it fails. And actually oblongs about all of them fail so um, I'm not sure what the future will be with oblongs. No need to flip it over on the other side because it fails. This is a square. Extend the square five inches. Same thing off of a flat surface. And as you can see this one fails. And you can flip it over and do the same thing except that it would, since it failed on this side there's no need doing it on the other side. If you have a catalog that fails, well, um, give us a call because there are, there are things that we could possibly do, whether it's a, a card or moving a stitch. Um, but before you give up hope, well, give us a call and see what we can do.